am in, I guess, just south of Parkersburg at my cabin in West Virginia. If you uh, watched my video before, you know that this is my off-grid cabin. I bought the property in 2008 and built the property over the next several years. Um, I talked last time, I did the tour of the outside, talked about the generator, talked about the cistern, talked about how I've got it all set up off-grid. And one of the things I talked about was I had a contractor doing some work and he was finishing some things up inside. So I promised a tour of the inside. Well, I just spent the entire weekend here. The contractor's pretty much done. I did a bunch of cleaning, clearing out my stuff, and I just signed the paperwork with a realtor to uh, list this place on Monday. So with any luck, it'll sell quickly. It is a really, really cool setting. If I get ambitious here, I'll get the drone out and get some aerial footage of what's here. But uh, the cabin sits in the middle of a clearing on a point that uh, is kind of a pie-shaped property. And down the sides, it's all wooded and a hill. And you sit right up here on the top. It's very private. So really, really uh, a cool location and not something I would sell if it weren't for the fact that I've got a new cabin in Southeast Ohio that I'm really excited about. Um, so without any more uh, detail, let's go take a look at the cabin. I'll give you a tour of the inside, show you what's going on. I'm not sure what all you can see from here, but um, there's the cabin and below it is a shed. I guess real quick before I go in, the cabin itself is uh, 20 by 24. The shed is 16 by 20. So um, they're not huge, but uh, certainly big enough uh, uh, for what I used it for. So let's go check out the inside. All right, first up, my contractor put some steps on the front door. Um, I think if you recall, when I talked the last time, I said that first step's a big one. Well, he did a real nice job of giving me some steps so that you can get in this front door. I have never used this front door. I've always come in and out the side door, but um, now I've got a front door. You can see down here below is my shed and we'll walk down and talk a little bit about it. But um, let's go on inside. When you come in, you step into a combination living room dining area and this room uh, the overall room is about 20 by 10 so there's enough room here you can sit on the couch put it out a chair I've taken some of my furniture out of here um, for the sale but as you look around start panning you can see what the rest of the room looks like my contractor left his generator here so he'll be back for that but that's the dining area Ceiling fans, there on the wall is a uh, propane heater. And over there in the corner, that little uh, tucked away spot, uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's stick with what's here on the first floor. Um, so here you go into the kitchen. So I kept it kind of an open look. Um, got sink, propane stove, propane refrigerator, and a microwave. The great thing about the propane refrigerator, if you think about your house, the only thing that needs to run all the time is probably your refrigerator. So this way I can run the refrigerator on propane and I don't ever have to turn on the generator unless I'm needing power. Um, hickory cabinets, so we did uppers and lowers. And I got the sink on the other side, same deal, hickory cabinets, upper and lower. From the side door, when you come in, this is the view my contractor came in, he trimmed out all my doors and windows. Really happy with that. Here's something unique I did. My steps are really steep. You'll see those here in a minute. So what I did, I created an attic access that's big enough to put a queen size bed upstairs. Not only queen size bed, but building materials. So as you start uh, to finish that upstairs, you'll have easy access to the upstairs. Off of the living room, Come in, it's got a single bedroom. Bedroom with a window. You got the power box there. I'm building a, uh, a cabinet door to put on that so that um, just to cover it up so you're not looking at it. But not a bad size room. If you're just here for, uh, you know, the weekend, plenty of room. And off to the right, you step into the bathroom. Got a bathroom. Nice size vanity, 
And as you come through, it's got a shower here. Coming back out into the living room. Close that up. Get a look. There's a closet there. I haven't got a door on it yet, but that's just going to be storage closet, brooms, vacuums, and things along those lines. So now I'll give you a quick look at the upstairs. So the great thing about this cabin, it's, it's nice right now, but there is definitely room to add to it upstairs. Now, because of the size of the cabin, I wanted to be real careful and not eat up a bunch of room with the steps. So we've got pretty steep steps here that are more designed like a ship's ladder as opposed to a traditional set of steps. So you don't go up this thing like steps, you go up it more like a ladder. When you pop this access out, come on upstairs and you'll see up here, I'm estimating you could create a room that's about, uh, I don't know, 20 by, oh, 20 by 12 and still have decent sized walls. Part of what I planned on doing was building a second wall out here, a wall back, uh, further back to close off the attic space and then another wall further out, do some shelving and cabinets so you had storage up here. But definitely room up here that you could do a couple beds, have a bunk room, have a play area for the kids, something along those lines. But definitely plenty of space up here to, uh, to add on. So that is the inside. Let's take a quick walk out to the shed. I'll also show you, we're going to go out the side door here. As you come out the side door, you see all this straw. And what I did here, if you recall from the first video, there was a, I think it was a 1956 or 1949, I forget the exact year, Spartan Royal Manor here, which was like an Airstream. I sold it to a guy. I'll show some video of that. He came and pulled that camper out of here his plan is to restore it drug it from uh, parkersburg back to his home in kentucky that was about a uh close to an eight hour drive dragging that thing that's been sitting for 30 years but he seemed to think nothing of it so you can see the video of him pulling that out of here as you look around this is the view out the front just a great front yard lots of great memories out here wiffle ball uh badminton bonfires a lot of Good times. I had a feeder out there at the edge of the lawn. You could see turkeys and deer out here all the time. So pretty cool. We'll walk on out back. You can see I put a septic in. And then as you look out back, here's the cabin. Or not the cabin, the shed. I went with double doors on the shed. I wanted to be able to pull into it almost like a two-car garage. So it gave me room to store. Uh, when I was keeping things here, I could keep the side-by-side -side here. I could keep the tractor here. At this point, everything's gone to uh, Southeast Ohio, but uh, great storage, good size uh, shed. Really, really happy with it. Thousand gallon or thousand pound propane, which, uh, which services this thing really well. You can see there in the weeds, my cistern, 2000 gallon cistern, and the view out back. So that's it for the off-grid cabin. If you know anyone who's looking for a cabin in the Parkersburg, West Virginia area, shoot me a note. Um, it's gonna be listed Monday, and with any luck, it'll go quick. So looking forward to investing in Southeast Ohio, doing more of our videos from there. I appreciate you joining me. And uh, you know, this cabin is just one more of the things that uh, Applies to our theme, outdoors is always in season. I spent a lot of time outdoors here, did a lot of deer hunting, shot some nice deer. So uh, on to the next chapter. We'll see how quickly this sells. But um, thanks for joining. 